Now, there's a lot of questions like this on Quora about what you would do if you met a Christian baby. And we found another one of them, because there's all sorts of situations for that. Yeah, babies go through all kinds of trials and tribulations. So many babies are Christian! <laughs> They're right. born that way. They're dunked in the pool. They have no say in the matter. Yeah. Okay, so this one's a pretty standard situation we might all find ourselves in. Atheists, imagine you and a Christian baby are teleported into a flower forest filled with killer bees, and there's only one flower-scented suit that will mask presence to escape. Will you use it or let the Christian baby? Now, Whoa. Whoa. This, the person who wrote this, like, they were like, I'm about to end atheism <laughs> forever in the world <laughs> with this question because no atheist will be able to read this. <laughs> now, this, is a, this is a popular format, the atheist baby, or uh, Christian baby format, but... Is this really... Yeah, look at this. On the sidebar, this is, this is six <laughs> more questions. Oh, Imagine you're on a railroad God. track. Are Imagine these all you're... asked by the same person? Or... I think it's all different people. People want to know what atheists will do in, while confronted in several fantasy scenarios with a Christian baby. Sometimes the babies why, talk. Why is there a related question that's the exact same question? Two down. Um, okay. is it, it, does Atheist, it have this imagine flower you and suit? a Christian baby are teleported into a flower forest filled with killer bees and there's only one flower in a suit that will mess. It's a common situation. Yeah, it's, it fair, happens more than you think. The other one, they're teleported to the moon. So <laughs> that one's a little bit different. You've only got one space there's suit. There's only one space There's suit. no killer bees. Be thankful you're on Earth still. Okay, <laughs> and I love how the atheists are coming out yeah. in force. To they're not like, helping this baby. Fuck that baby. They don't take the flower. <laughs> That's my flower-scented suit. I would save myself. The Christian I don't know why I keep doing this accent. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on Quora. The Christian, the Christian <laughs> baby can pray to God for salvation. I, I don't know if a baby can pray to God. I don't think it has the language you're asking, facility. You don't get to ask anything of the baby. That's not part <laughs> of the question. Yeah. There's only one flower-scented suit in the killer bee forest. It's a very common situation. Bug MD is going hard for this <laughs> what is the safest way to get rid of bed bugs question. Because <laughs> that's, just that's, that's, that's been on the last five things that we've looked at. Yeah, fuck you, Bug MD. <laughs> bug MD, <laughs> fuck you. Um, I don't support I throwing do. the baby to the bees. Are we throwing the baby what to the I bees? Done? Christian no. babies do not exist. <laughs> they aren't old enough oh, sorry. to be fully indoctrinated yet. So babies are atheists until the pam parents and family indoctrinate it. Damn, dude. Does the suit fit me and the baby? <laughs> yeah, I like the size of question. eight babies. I think I would just How like... How big is this baby? Oh, that's a good question. Yo, I that's don't want to really brag. Good. Is this a huge baby? Because if it's a baby that's massive... Right. I'm it's like, an abomination. Maybe its parents maybe its parents are like giants. Uh -huh. And I don't want to piss them off. Right. Yeah. I think These I'm like holding my arm Christians. like this and I'm putting the baby in the other arm. Oh. I'm just letting yeah. it kind of dangle. And I'm walking around and there's just a baby like flapping around. Yeah. Also, don't bees love flowers? Yeah, that's what I'm confused about. Right, yeah. but they, they, they're allied with them. Right. So one person has to put on the flower suit and attract all the bees. Sure. Jeremy is correct on this baby nook solution. Bees I, will not be able to deal with that. Why do the bees... It's really on the bees. Well, why do they really hate the Christian the bees. baby? <laughs> I've why? done nothing. I say this all the time. This is really on the bees. Are the bees Catholic? Are they yeah, Christian? Yeah, right? <laughs> do the belie bees believe in Christ? I think I would just not get stung. The queen bee is, in a way, the pope. I'm a very quick... I'm very quick. What? <laughs> I will not be elaborating on this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, that's right. true. I Have you seen the movie Jupiter Ascending? Uh, yes. <laughs> Bees, no, bees detect <laughs> royalty. Yeah, that's true. We've all seen Jupiter ascending. We've all seen Jupiter ascending. Bees, wow. they they know royalty. They detect it. <laughs> yeah, that's so the, the one the where Eddie deserves... Redmayne is yeah. in it, and he yeah, only yeah. yells or he whispers. He only yells or whispers. Yeah, yeah, the entire movie. Yeah, he's like, I will not save this Christian baby. Yeah. <laughs> what? I will not save the baby. <laughs> Um, All the Jupiter Ascending fans in the crowd go wild. They're going right now. Yeah. They're going with the Wachowski nuts. heads. Saturday night. <laughs> <laughs> They're not watching it, though. Wait, oh, okay, we scroll it. up for one second. Which one? What's your biggest financial regret? Not having an exit strategy for my crypto and NFT investments. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> damn. That's a damn shame. They should talk to that guy that we saw interested in the future in Bitcoin. 
mm. 11 years ago. Oh, here's something interesting. The guy who asked this is named Mark Snickerbrain? That's what I also Mark hoed Snickerbrain, on. you ask a lot of silly questions with Christian babies <laughs> since months, but you never seem to read any of the answers. You just pose to be a stupid little twat. Get out of the basement in your parents' house and play with other 13-year-olds. Wow. Let's go cut off Jack, who's, whose job is goes commando in torn cutoffs. Okay, cl- we have to click on cut off Jack. <laughs> Have to cl- we have to know more okay, about Cut-Off. I feel like Cut-Off Jack really wears what he's about on his sleeve. All right, this is our favorite game. Is this a fetish? Yes, yes. absolutely. Yes, Jeremy. Are you fetish. kidding me? Yes, Jeremy. Look at these gifts. He's rolling in the mud. I love to wear ripped and dirty cutoffs, but I also have fun playing in mud wearing my favorite torn jeans. Oh, wait, yeah. wait, wait. Oh. Look what he's a space of, Alex. Our old friend swimming, swimming in clothes. In clothes. Oh. Yeah, dude. Wait, okay, my favorite thing about the, sw- the swimming in clothes <laughs> fetishists, because there's so many, and it's like an entire like subsection of a generation ruined by their friend's hot older sister pushing them into a pool <laughs> at, a, at a pool party when they were in first grade. That's what it is. And they're sexually destroyed for it's the rest crazy. of their lives. The people love it. They're just, they love swimming in clothes. All right, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm I didn't sorry. realize everyone's going to be I'm upset sorry. about it. I didn't realize. <laughs> you, you're familiar with this unrelated to Quora in this program? Like this is a thing people know about? I, I'm familiar because I follow a lot of freaks on Twitter sure. and YouTube. <laughs> okay. and like, sure. There's a bunch of YouTube channels of guys being like, set up the pool in the front yard. And they're just like <laughs> waiting in, you know. There's, you know. It's very funny, like, that wasn't sexual at all. It's just people who are wet in clothes, but everyone knows to be grossed out by it because they're jacking off. Yeah, they <laughs> they're are into it. So into it. And Bitch, I'm look, grown. In the YouTube ones, if you look at the comments, all the comments are like, Oh, it's sticking right on your legs, brother. <laughs> <laughs> it's like so great. It's really oh, amazing. You're right. going to have to change. <laughs> <laughs> Leave your phone at home. Yeah. Well, cut off. Uh, my son you. won't stop watching ISIS what the hell? videos. <laughs> what the hell is that? This is a fake account. This can't it's be cut off account. Jack! My 12-year-old son got a 99 on his math exam, so I destroyed his phone and PC. Was this reasonable? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. oh wait, he answered that. Yes. Yeah, he's taking them to town. Oh. Cut off Jack's on it. He's he's um he's t- taking on the trolls. He's taking on the trolls. His pants are full of holes. He's yeah. cut off Jack. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna oh stop reading God. whatever racial saw, yeah, shit. <laughs> <I just saw laughs> All right, goodbye, cut yeah, off Jack. Go, goodbye, cut off Jack. <laughs> I didn't know Quora was so. No, yeah, you shouldn't like just roll around <laughs> on here with a big projector. It's a big <laughs> the problem. Everyone we find is just some like weird pervert who's just like, oh, also, I'm a racist. <laughs> and by the way, I have some thoughts on other races. Ask me my views on World War II. <laughs> um, okay, do we have anything else to read about this? We want to read some collapsed answers real quick? We or can't no? possibly. What question are we on right now? This is, this is the, the baby I, one. The baby one. The baby. I, l- I read that as I'd let Jesus save the ex Tina baby. <laughs> and I thought it was about <laughs> Christina Aguilera. <laughs> if the baby was Christina Aguilera, I would also oh, yeah. save it. You gotta. If your baby's really a genie in the bobble, you have to rub them the right way. Yeah. <laughs> Look it's one of her are. famous songs. A great mm-hmm. pull, Alex. Thank you. <laughs> I don't regret the decisions I've made. <laughs> There's like 30 questions. Wait, that like one this. is so... Atheist, imagine you were in a room with a Christian baby slowly filling with water. Would you stand on the baby's <laughs> shoulders <laughs> so you could have air longer? That can't buy you <laughs> an inch. All right, you know what? I'm a Christian now. I have to be. I, I simply think that must. Just solved, that solved my atheism. You know, it sounds ridiculous, but in the water, I bet maybe the baby can kind of carry more than its usual weight. Thank you, yeah. Yeah. You know, how do you tell your friends? They're like, how did you get out of that? And you're like, <laughs> all right, so you remember that baby we all knew? <laughs> I am stunned by the amount of these questions that are about a Christian baby. We atheists, s- imagine you and a Christian baby are teleported into a group of ninjas who are throwing shurikens. <laughs> And there's only one metal umbrella to deflect them. Oh, this one's really good. Atheist, imagine you and a Christian baby are being mugged. The criminal is mad at the Christian baby and decides to shoot it. Whoa. Wait, what is happening with okay, this one? Okay, so it seems like the criminal is maybe also an atheist, and you could probably connect with the criminal on that level and yes. ask him, hey, hey man, don't maybe kill don't me. mug us, don't kill the baby, let's just chill. 
Um, suddenly it cuts into slow motion and you're able to jump in the way of the bullet. Would you save the suddenly baby? Suddenly it cuts into slow motion. Suddenly it cuts to slow motion. These all have to be one guy. And this is <laughs> the only And Alex was requested does. to answer this. <laughs> what is we simply must move on. <laughs> all right. 